Hello everybody, welcome to Leech Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. And um, finally doing this one, I've had, I've had the bottle for a little over a month now. Um, this is the white colon bell that uh, I talked about I was going to do. So this is the 2007 colon bell. Uh, it is a Vin de Pays des Côtes de Gasson, and uh, it is a mixture of 70% Columbard and, oops, there I go, spilling stuff again, and 30% um, Uni Blanc. Now, those of you that know a little two things about wine, as I'm learning these little two or three things about wine, uh, we'll know that Uni Blanc is a, another name for the grape uh, Trebbiano, which Trebbiano is an Italian varietal. So, uh, Colombard is, from what I can tell, a French varietal, you know, native to France. Uh, Uni Blanc is just the French name for Trebbiano, which is uh, uh, it's not a native Italian um, varietal. It's an Eastern European varietal that, that Italy seemed to have... Uh, really liked and grew, grow a lot of. But Uni Blanc is also the, the most planted grape varietal in France. And both grapes are used a lot in cognacs and Armagnacs. Uh, well, Colombard is used in Armagnacs or cognacs, depending on what part of France it is. And Uni Blanc is also another uh, varietal used in cognac. So if you didn't know that cognac and Armagnac are actually uh, made from grapes there you know which that will be a future subject like a few more months down the road for sommelier school yes I haven't forgotten about it it'll be out this week I promise I know I'm promising that so let's go ahead and just check it out I mean, if you do the research on, on, on these varietals especially the Colombard um, or even just under Uni Blanc or Treviano you'll hear about makes uninspired wine or not really good wine so We'll see what this is. Oh, six ninety nine world market. Sorry. So I, I get a bit of floral. The, the the back of the label says I should get floral and fruit and blah blah blah. And they actually mention some some specific fruits. But uh, on the nose, I'm getting some citrus, um, almost lemony type stuff, but not lemon, but that, that kind of acidic fruit, uh, citrus part. Maybe a bit of floral. Let's, uh, let's taste it, see how it is. temperature um, not much acid at least I, I don't really get that much acid the acid is there but it's not like focused um, I can feel it like on the tongue like it like someone did kind of cut the tongue a little bit, but it's not like really focused in one area. It's kind of it's kind of all around the mouth, but definitely on the tongue. Um, I get kind of that citrusy, lemony uh, flavor to it. Uh, they say loaded with grapefruit, mango, and white peaches. Maybe because it's not like lemon that I'm getting. But it, it, there is that kind of that, that sour, that little, not, not in a bad way, but that bit of sourness you get from a grapefruit. Not so much the mango. And I've never had a white peach, so I don't know what a white peach tastes like. But if it tastes like a peach, not really. I mean, I guess it's there, but I was, I'd probably agree with the grapefruit more than anything else. It's not bad. If you chilled it, 
it'd probably be a little bit better. It wouldn't be so harsh. But I can see getting this again. Just because it's different, it's something, it's not your usual run-of-the-mill Chardonnays, Pinot Grigios, that kind of stuff. And that's the kind of stuff that I like. So if, if that's not your cup of tea, then that's okay. Because, you know, there's there's plenty of wines out there that are good that are that are the the same varietals. They're just, you know, well-made. It's not bad. I mean, it's a $7 wine. It's from the southwest part of France. It's not like, you know, we're talking a, a fine Bordeaux or Burgundy or Chablis. But um, score-wise, I do like it. I do actually. I do. I do like this, and I can see having this again. I'll give it an 85. I think it's pretty decent. Cool. All right. So, um, more show stuff. Uh, I'm starting to run out of wine, which you know what that means. I get to go on a buying spree. Um, I'm excited about this one because there's a new wine shop uh, that's opening up here in San Antonio. Actually, technically, it's in Live Oak or Selma. Uh, it's called Specs, and if you're from the Houston area, you know Specs extremely well. So they're opening up one of their large stores uh, near the house, which I'm really excited about. It is open, actually. So I'm going to get some wine. Uh, this is Monday show. I plan on getting the wine maybe Tuesday. Uh, I do have about three or four bottles to do. I've got uh, two review bottles. That It doesn't look like I'll be able to do the Skype interview with the winemaker. He hasn't gotten back with me about it. But these are some good bottles of wine, supposedly. Uh, decently priced. Or, you know, they're, they're, they're outside the normal price range of, of the show. So I think they're like $22 or so. Oops. 22 bucks or so. So I'll do two different episodes of that. Uh, I've got a, a Gewürztraminer to do. So I've got about three more wines that, that will be basically for about a week and a half. But we're going to buy some more wine at Specs. Uh, plan on doing a Thanksgiving episode. I have an Alsatian Riesling that I got off of Cinderella wine. Uh, so big ups to uh, uh, Gary V and Cinderella. I have a shout out that I forgot to do last week. And I got to get the guy's name. So real quick. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Almost there, almost there. No, 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 not that guy. Where is he? Where is he? Sorry, I should have had this. I... No, that's not it. Thought I found him, but that wasn't it. Hi, what is that all about? So, oh, uh, I got one of my new followers, um, Tiggeraz. I still want to work with you. Hashtag dream job. I replied back that since I'm not really making any money off of this, uh, it's great, but unfortunately, I don't really make any money. I've got to be getting close to this guy. See, what had happened was I had said I would do a shout out to the person that guessed who my next Skype interview is going to be with. Ah, Steven Tiano. That's got to be it. No? Yes? No, that's not it. Ah, oh, here it is. Found him. Sorry, it took so long. I had a lots of I had a lots of mentions. I right, saw so Paul Weldy at Paul Weldy. Paul Weldy in Louisville. I'm oh, sorry, Louisville, Kentucky. Looking forward to the shout out. We'll tune in. So I put out a post saying, as soon as it comes up, uh, that I'm doing a Skype interview. Uh, I said the first reference is the easy one. Let's figure out the second one. Get a shout out on the show. Uh, the second one, uh, I did. I did a reference called "Stop." I said "Stop the downloading." It's from one of those PSAs, you know, fake PSAs from GI Joe. They're really funny. Just YouTube it, GI Joe PSA uh, spoof or whatever, and it's funny. Um, but the first one, uh, I had put a reference out, and I'd let him know that. Uh, he was correct that the um, the next Skype interview should be with a uh, winemaker called 8-Bit Vintners. Goes really well for 1337. I'll be getting those wines hopefully sometime this week. 
set up the Skype interview right after that, and we'll get that hopefully up within a couple weeks. So I'm real excited about that. Uh, I know there's other people interested in doing the Skype interviews, the Skype tastings. So um, if you if you're looking to do something a little bit different than than the norm, hook you know contact me and we will uh, get that set up. And I'm gonna ask some people from Australia. Sam, I know you're one of them. Uh, but I got some people in Australia that are interested, and this is the perfect thing about it. Right now, it's almost three in the morning, uh, San Antonio time. I just got home from work, but that's cool because it's in the afternoon in the other side of the world. So for them, it's convenient to do it at that time, and it's also convenient for me because of the type of schedule that I have now. So um, got a scratchy throat, allergies and stuff. So. Um, Looking forward to do some more of these Skype tastings. All you got to do is just send me one bottle of wine. I've had some people sending me a couple bottles. It's awesome. I really like that. Um, just I just need the one. But if we do two bottles, if they're two different varietals, we'll do them both in the same interview. I won't like do two interviews. We'll do them all in one interview. Uh, just kind of combine that. Thanksgiving, we'll have an episode. Like I said, we'll do the Alsatian Riesling. I'll get a couple other bottles. i uh, try to spread out the price points. I'm also looking to do uh, some Israeli wines. Like I said, it's not necessarily a Hanukkah thing, but it is coming up. Um, so we'll, we'll try to sneak some of that in. Do a Christmas episode. Um, some of these episodes, I'll, I'll, I'll try to have a little fun with uh, some costumes or set stuff. But uh, not necessarily every single one. That's it. We'll see everybody again next time. And look for the... Nope, it's not a bat. I'm not Manu. We'll see everybody again next time. More Salmonia School. Yeah! <laughs>